Hey guys, welcome to Beaver Creek. I just thought I'd show you uh, this map a little bit. It's only going to be a, a short video. Um, we're wandering through the woods here. It's uh, day two in early spring. And there's gold nuggets on this map. And it took me ages to figure this one out. So this is the last gold nugget. And it's way up here in case you ever wonder. Boof. Okay. Got a million dollars. Sweet. So very nice looking map. Plenty of woods. The water textures unreal. They look very good. We've just had a shower of rain and they even look murky when it's raining. And uh, the growth stages for the grass is still a bit too early to mow. So let's just tab back into a truck. What have we got here? Oh yeah, we're at uh, one of the sale points and we're looking at selling some sawdust. That's the uh, icon there and it's at 6.95. Hopefully it'll reach 700 and I can sell it. We'll just hop out and we'll do a bit of a walk around. I'll just get rid of some of this um, Have a look around this map. Most of your cell points are down here on the bottom of the map, and this is where the milk sales happen. This silo here, you drop in your homogenized milk, and that drop point there is for your ordinary milk. And out of here, you'll get skin milk, milkshake, and cream, and your production pallets will come there. And there's plenty of areas on this map where Stevie has made it available to put your own mods, placeable mods, which is a good idea. Um, yeah, there's traffic on the map. And this is a one gig download, which you'll have to unzip. And inside the Inside the file, there's three folders. One is a README file, which has the description and things in it. Read it, it's um, worth reading. Um, and one is the map, of course. Once you unzip it, just drag and drop into your mods folder. And the other one is the, um, uh, is the trailer. where you'll have, um, where in the previous maps you had the Cotty Universal mod pack where you used the fuel tanker out of there to um, fuel your compost master well Stevie's put in his own so that's good you can take the other one out um, I have the seasons mod on as you can tell the trees are quite dried out and frost bitten And you start off with three or four fields plus a loosened field which is down near the BGA and so far up to our second day we've fertilized and ploughed the fields that we own and this field up here I think it's field six I've cut in half and 
one side will be sweet beets, sugar beets or whatever you want to call it, and potatoes, and the others will be grain crops, corn, and I'm on a nine day seasons cycle, so in our first year we'll be concentrating on getting the stores up, manufacturing fuel, this is the farmyard, nice quite, quite a <laughs> nice large area, it's um, surprising, oh, I quite like it actually, yeah so let's get back down to earth here, Um, there is a fair bit of equipment that you start with and so to with the milk um, you unload your milk in here and the homogenization of the homogenized milk comes out here and yeah so I don't want to do a review on this map, it's just a quick look. And when you bring up the farming, if you've got the farming tablet. So the factory is on your farming tablet when you bring it up. Shows you all the factories that you have. And uh, an interesting one for me at the moment with this gameplay is the digest fert factory when we go to details you'll see that at the BGA there um, when you add the digest date you'll get solid fertilizer your fuel which is um, a must definitely a must and your liquid fertilizer as well and we'll go back to there and it just shows you on the map where all the factories are um, the compost bags if you want to do it that way your greenhouses are all up here in the map along that back wall there along the fence line um, and your, all your store points are on the map as well they're in red there but when you click on them um, yeah, it shows you where they are on, on there. Go to details, and it's just a holding. Yep. So we'll just snap out of there. I only got the one app at the moment, and I'll probably be um, getting rid of a couple of equipment that I won't be able to use. For at least one or two years yet and that's where you um, deposit or unload your goods into there and you take them out from the outside and I've got 30,000 litres of digestate so I might just take that up there to make more fuel because you've got the potato washers you've got the uh, wood chippers the compost master they all take fuel and um, all of these greenhouses the little orchard over here whatever it, whatever it is it takes compost as well so it, it pays to get these things started early so when the winter time comes you've got some money still rolling in when you're logging or um, doing other things, getting ready for the next season, even tendering to animals. Talking about animals, they're all in the one area which makes it handy. Um, we've got our water trigger here, so if you're using any of the money saving mods, that'll be good. And the pig mixes. Get your power food just whack your ingredients into there 
sugarcane is on the map so if you have the DLC just put a big tick mark in there this is the cattle one or oh, the cow you get your team R out of there um, that's the trailer that Stevie's put into the map I've just coloured it yellow I don't know why I just did random colour <laughs> so the cows all pretty good and that's a milk just pack it into there load your milk in if you want to store milk well leave the um, the universal pack in there and you use the slurry dumper out of that um, it holds 200,000 um, the standard dumper let's just tighten my shoelaces up the standard dumper only holds 55 and it doesn't take milk but I'm going to try it without it for a while and um, because there's plenty of room down to milk max uh, the, the factory now this silage bunker now they're your fermenters one takes loosen the other one takes chaff grass hay I guess I haven't tried it yet and your piggeries over here stuck on the fence there's some new textures added to this map this is version 1D some nice sounds as well little walk bridge couple of crows you can hear sheep and uh, wool bale spawn over here and when you get enough bales the automatic sell point yeah and so with the from your greenhouses they got an automatic sell point as well and that's the map and what we'll do is just do a fly around and we'll just go up here to the sawmill because that's a lot of activity up there so you'll need fuel up here as well um, to get your pallet planks fuel will go into that motor wood chip out of there so you just drag the logs to the end of that building and drop it in and away it goes sawdust sail drop off your logs in there Yeah, both of these grinders take the fuel just see where the motor is this one's your sawdust one and the sawdust is your final product and it's a higher price than the wood chip so it's just a value adding drop your logs in there just be careful the triggers are pretty close And 
and uh, yeah, you can have a look at the rest of them. Um, the table work, and there's another little uh, lock where you grow saplings. He's got an automatic cell point. This guy, uh, Timmy, makes tables. It's a final product with a cell point too. Um, here you'll need water, manure and compost, and the saplings come out at the back there. And if I remember rightly, they get sold automatically as well. Oh, just no, they come out here. Yeah, that's it. They get sold, but you can pull them off, and you check your prices right. And if they're not dear, um, if the prices are too cheap, you can drag them off. Yeah, and you just pop them back on there, like in that zone market there, when the prices go back up, and or you can take them down. Um, water will come out of the creek. Cheap water but um, one of my goals will be to we'll go down here this is the PGA have a look at this look at the size of these bunkers now it's not going to be a mean feat here these clamps are absolutely huge and over the years that I've got to play this, like game time years, um, yeah, I'm going to attempt to fill all of them, <laughs> see how I'll go. So you got, um, that's where your fuel, liquid fertilizer and solid fertilizer is made. You just put your digestate down in here and you extract your product that must be your liquid fertilizer I, yeah I just don't remember now you know, it's your solid comes out there that's right your fuel comes out from there and your liquid fertilizers in that white tank you can sell compost there I suppose when you are and yeah you, you don't need a front end loader anymore but once you get the you know you can always put conveyors over there and carry them here there's two two dumpers in there processes and two digestate storage tanks yeah so it's just a quick look look at that so yeah we just come out of a shower that must be the passing passing shower overall ah, nice looking map plenty of trees you can always put populars down and I'll try all of that and see how it goes do a few different things and um, if you haven't subscribed to scrubby mates channel and uh, you want to follow me on a couple of let's plays you can do that just click the subscribe button below and if you want to stay up to date just hit the notifications bell and uh, yeah we'll be able to share things as we go more placeable area over here look more storage down there from this area yeah so um ideas are in the making so we'll catch you in the next video have a good time guys bye for now